Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. History was made last night, and today Razorback fans continue to celebrate. Now, last night, Arkansas took down number one Gonzaga, advancing to the Elite Eight. The Hogs are going back to the Elite Eight for the second straight season. The Razorbacks were viewed as the underdog to many, and Coach Musselman, after the game, gave a thank you to everyone that said they had no chance. It's something that Fort Smith native Jalen Williams said gave them motivation. I think we've been disrespected the whole year, so it's just another thing for us. I'm, they gave them like an 86% chance to win, so we saw that. We saw everything they were saying. We felt like they were dancing before the game. That, that was disrespect to us, so we just came into the game playing hard, and we had a chip on our shoulder every game we do, and we just played hard for, for 40 minutes, so that's just, that's just what we do now. And the victory was extra special for someone close to Eric Musselman, his mother. His mom, Chris, who you see here, was in the arena watching as her son led the Razorbacks to the Elite Eight. It's also the first time she's ever seen her son coach the Razorbacks. Now, it will be a big Saturday at Bud Walton Arena. They're gearing up for a massive watch party with the game set to air a bit after 7 o'clock as the Hogs take on Duke. Now, you can watch this game on TBS. And last night was obviously a big night for the Hogs, as we mentioned, but it was was also an exciting evening for people at a bar and grill on Dixon Street. Employees and customers at Farrell's got a huge surprise during halftime. Viral TikTok star Dean Nasarima teamed up with financial company Ally to not only pay for everyone's meals and bar tabs, but get this, they also gave a $50,000 tip to Farrell's employees. They were all called to the middle of the restaurant to receive that big check. Now the whole thing making Arkansas Sweet 16 a victory even sweeter. I see the during the COVID hours how much they were working. So I mean, I just felt like it was right to get back to Arkansas. This is this is cool, man. This is this is it doesn't seem real. I'm ecstatic. I'm like bewildered almost that happened. This is the most money I've ever made in a shift by by far. I'm sure they deserve every penny. Now the check will be split among all Farrell's employees, even the ones not scheduled to work last night. All right, before we get to another story, let's check in with meteorologist Zach Scott to see how the weekend weather is shaping up. Hey, Zach. Overall, not too bad after all the cloudy uh, weather we've been dealing with earlier this week. Chilly temperatures at times. We are watching a weak disturbance move through. It's producing a mix of sun and clouds now as we roll into the afternoon hours of Friday uh, for northwest Arkansas. Temperatures today going to get into the lower 60s. Stray sprinkler two can't be ruled out in northwest Arkansas. It's all sunshine in upper 60s uh, down across the river valley. Heading into Saturday morning, chilly start, 30s to a few low 40s. And then we'll watch for really a mix of sun and clouds as we get into the weekend. Can't roll out a stray sprinkle. The air is very dry, but a weak disturbance passing through on Saturday and Sunday. A little breezy temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Joe. All right, thanks, Zach. Now, Unnatural State of Crime will air its second episode on Channel 5 this weekend. This time, we're taking a look at the case of 16-year-old Angela Allen. It's one of the most devastating cases in Arkansas. A young girl with a sweet smile is lured to her death by convicted sex offender Lloyd Jones. He had lured others. He escaped prison. It's a fresh look at a case you won't want to miss. Take a look. Well, our patrol division received a call from... Uh, her grandmother, Angela, had gone walking the neighborhood. She hadn't returned. I knew she wasn't alive. I just had that gut feeling. It's just like a, a mother, their child gets hurt, and they get that instinct. A lot of fear happens when you identify that your suspect is a, is a registered sex offender. This man groomed her. He lied to her. He had coaxed her into meeting with him, and that was the uh, the beginning of some bad things that happened. Now, you can watch Unnatural State of Crime, the Angela Allen story, this Saturday at 4.30 and again on Sunday at 10.30 p.m. Of course, that will be on Channel 5. All right, well, thank you for joining us here at 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Catch up with us again next week right here, same platform. Have a great weekend.